Hello, Sad Bang. I hope you all are doing well. So, today is my name. It is Nati. So, I will be hopping right into y'all. I want you all to take your feet to leave what does not. If anything does resonate with you, hit that like button, comment, subscribe to the channel so I will if needed. Also, Sad Bang, thank you, thank you, thank you for the world likes, comments. Thank you for the support. Thank you for everything that y'all do to help the channel grow. I really love and appreciate you all. All right, so let's see here. One more shuffle. All right. All right, Sagittarius. Let's see the energy for Sagittarius. Okay, so y'all are moving away here. Someone, I mean, y'all moving away very fiercely here with the chariot. You're taking your dogs with you. Um, you could be moving to another city, state, town, or country. You have this person here, this masculine or possibly feminine. They are begging that you don't leave. They are like, they can't sleep at night. They are heartbroken. They could be writing you messages and deleting them or writing songs about you and, um, you know, crumbling the paper up and throwing it away. But there's definitely a depth to a situation here. Um, what's the energy for Sagittarius? So, I just feel like with the high priestess, you could be very intuitive, a tarot card reader, or you could just, your parent, your mother, okay, or you, someone, you're just getting this guidance to just move forward, to move on, and you have this person here who, um, all they do is think about you, especially at nighttime, they're thinking about the separation or the divorce here, um, they're thinking about coming to beg you back, okay? They're thinking about you being in a third-party situation or being with others. I feel like they could be in the phone looking at third parties, but, I mean, it's like they're constantly thinking about you. They're constantly thinking about you, Sarge, okay? Um, you could be leaving this person out in the cold here. Like I said, this could be someone you were married to or in a long-term commitment with, they don't want this divorce or they don't want you to walk out of their life. They're actually recovering. So basically, they are trying to move forward, but all they do is think about you. Okay? They think about how sexy, how beautiful you are, how sweet you are, how kind you are, how nice you are, how you're a star. You could be on a public platform or you could have followers. Yeah, they don't want you to leave. They're thinking about traveling towards you at nighttime here. Maybe causing you a tower with third-party energy here. What's the energy? See, but your angels and your spirit guides are protecting you from this person. Because they do want to come do something very impulsive at nighttime. They want to travel to see you or to shut down whatever you have going on because they see you as their family. Maybe y'all cook together with the kids or something. But they do want to make things right with you. You could be an earth angel here, okay? Well, you are an earth angel. You are very stable. You are very solid. You are very loving here. And that's all they can think about. They think about you getting love. They they fear the unknown, okay. Um, you are very strong. You are holding back here. You can have three or four kids, or this is your angels that are protecting you here. They could be with someone here, um, who's in jail or prison, or they could have been with someone in jail or prison, or they could be in jail and prison, okay. Um. But they want to start something new with you. They want to marry you or be with you. But I feel like you're kind of using your third eye here. You can feel like they have some sort of toxic queen of swords attached to them. Or some sort of toxic bond here with a child. Um. So, yeah, you're just staying away from all of that. You're staying strong and waiting on that new love and that new beginning here, okay? I feel like you are investing a lot of time with your family or your father, okay? That's really all you want is that stable family foundation here. And I feel like as long as you continue to hold back, you're going to get it. I do feel like this person has a lot going on at nighttime. They want to communicate with you. They want to make things happen fast with you. I don't know if there's someone you just met or there's someone you've already met. Okay, for some of y'all, they could be married or something. 
But someone is definitely in jail. They want to start something up fast with you here. Yeah, see, they're being a player because they still got somebody attached to them energetically here. Or they still playing games or still attached to someone. But they want to start something fast. This could be someone older here. They could be dealing with someone younger. They really want to beg you to be with them or to wait on them, okay? Like I said, this person can be in jail or prison, but you are blocking this energy. You are booting and busy, focusing on your happiness. You could be um, going like to a family gathering. You could be going to the gym. Like You got a lot going on. You're going to church. You're doing some horseback riding here. Maybe that could have been the death of a family member here. You're preparing for that. What's the energy for Sagittarius, please? They could be feeling alone here with children. Maybe this is like a single, I don't know. They could be feeling alone with children. Um, or they could be missing their children or something like this. Someone is in jail here. Someone is held a lot before the children while someone is in jail, but they've trying to start something fast with you because you are stable, you nice, you kind, you good, you busy, you blessed or something. Uh, but you are staying away from that. Right. Your third eye cannot be fought with because you already, look at this eye. You already see something before it even happens. That's what I'm getting with the high priestess, very intuitive here, psychic. You see some sort of heartbreak before it happens, or you can see that this person is hurting, or you can see that they have multiple options until somebody here gets out of jail or prison here. Maybe someone that they are married to, whether a masculine or feminine energy. You just want to be happy. Um, you want your own family here. Some of you all do have options, okay? But for some of y'all, maybe the options is not what you want. I don't know, okay? Um... Maybe you see an option that you want and you want to reel it in. So some of y'all, y'all just going to use your third eye. So some of y'all have this option now that this is something that you wanted, but your third eye can't be fucked with. Like, it just can't be. Like, you're too intuitive. And you can see what's going to happen before it happens. Or you can see some sort of argument or fight or jealous karmic coming into the picture before it happens. Uh, somebody could have committed a crime in front of a child or something in regard to a child here where they are in jail or prison, okay? And somebody has been having options while somebody is in jail or prison, but they are still connected to this person. And I feel like there, some of y'all have met this person while their other person is in jail or prison. And this person is going to get out and they're going to be pissed that you have this that they have this new connection with you, right? They probably gonna be doing all kind of spell work and everything here, wishing death on you. So you finna end it before it even happened. Okay, yeah. So whoever this is, they gonna be wishing death on you. Um, if you were to stay inside this connection with this person, now this person, if you were to, I don't know, you want to be happy, you are gonna find happiness, okay? But if you were to stay in this connection with this person, because they will try to hold on to you. Um, if you are to stay with them for quite some time, this person is going to get out of jail. They're going to be doing the most, I'm telling you. One more card for Sagittarius, please. Yeah, so if you were to stay with this person for a long time, to stay with this person for a long time and not to end the things, you could end up pregnant from this person. Like, it's in your destiny to be happy, to be in a relationship, to get pregnant, or to have a child with an empress, or you are empress, okay, or emperor. So, that is a part of your destiny, but you don't want to do that with the wrong person. Your destiny, destiny is to not be fighting or stressing about a karmic. But they are dealing with some sort of devil karmic energy, right? You are like a queen of pentacles. You could be a boss or business owner. You could be like a herbalist, spiritualist, psych psychic okay um spiritual teacher or something like this right so it's in your destiny to be happy but you, you're not going to be happy with this in this situation but if anything resonates hit that like button comment subscribe to the channel and until next time bye